Thank you to Nintendo for sponsoring this video. It's Lynn again. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're here. And this week I will be sharing with you my attempts at practicing self-care and making time for myself throughout multiple days. And in the past, what I would do for a self-care video, and I enjoyed making videos in this format, but I would just set aside an entire day and just do all my hobbies, my skincare, go all extra with a hair routine and cooking, and that would be it. But what I realized is as a college senior, I have absolutely no no time for that. There's not a single day that goes by where I don't have something to do okay, or some meeting to attend. I thought it would be meaningful to document how I set aside these shorter yet still meaningful times in my day to do things that I like outside of work because I recently did a personality test and it said I was 87% workaholic, which is not, I, that's not, that's not something I'm proud of. And as I have been advocating for in literally all the videos I've made this year. Hobbies are so important and so fun and one of my favorite hobbies is video gaming which is why I'm so ecstatic. I'm actually kind of nervous. I think I'm sweating to announce that for today's video I am partnering with Nintendo to bring you another code recollection. I've been playing this game on the Nintendo Switch OLED model and there's three ways to play. TV mode, handheld, and tabletop. But I have been a fan of Nintendo gaming systems since day one. One of my favorite puzzle games growing up was Professor Layton and the Curious Village which I played on my little pink DSi. And likewise, I've been thoroughly enjoying another code recollection, which is this like mystery narrative driven game. The main character, Ashley, has to solve puzzles to answer the mystery of her father's disappearance. So you go on this beautiful adventure filled with amazing dialogue. That's one of my favorite aspects of this game actually, is the fact that as you meet side characters and have conversations with them, you learn more about their backstories and they become so complex. Another code Code recollection includes both of the adventures to memories and journey into lost memories and it's the first time that this part of Ashley's story is being released in our territory. I've loved immersing myself into Ashley's world and playing through all the puzzles on the go or when I'm at home cozying up after a long day. So if you'd like to follow Ashley along on her adventure be sure to click the link in my description box to start your gameplay. Thank you so much to Nintendo for partnering with me for this video and without further ado let's jump into making some Tongue Bye bye. So there's been a few weeks where I couldn't do this, but every Monday I have board meetings for the club I'm president of, and I always try to bring something that's homemade. I did prep some black sesame filling over the weekend to make some tang yuan, which I made for the first time this past Lunar New Year. So right now I'm just forming all the black sesame into little balls, kind of like roughly the size of boba, a little bit bigger. And then I also have glutinous rice flour, which is for the outside. It's really easy to make the dough actually. Ooh, hot, ooh, I got mom hands. And I like to roll the dough out into a log and then I pinch off a small amount, flatten it out into a disc and then place the black sesame ball in the middle and bring it all together, roll it, and then it's ready to be boiled. I know this is a self-care vlog, so you might be thinking, Lynn, why are you inconveniencing yourself on a school night? People both on my board and just my friends have told me, Lynn, you don't have to do this. And I know I don't have to do this, you know, make baked goods 
from scratch every week because cooking and baking are both such hard labors of love even though it seems like i'm doing this for other people it's actually a form of self-care for me because i have to put down my computer and stop staring behind a screen and get up and like use my hands which is very soothing and familiar and relaxing personally it brings me a lot of happiness and satisfaction to go out of my way to do something that may make another person's day and plus you know it's not like i don't get to partake in the sweet goods myself okay before i zip off i am going to try some myself i still have syrup left over from lunar new year that i made to transport i did put a little syrup at the bottom of my tupperware so they don't stick to one another so this is what it looks like mm. It's good. I do think I made the dough a little too sticky this time, but it's okay. This day was a Tuesday, which are my busiest days at school, so I decided to treat myself to some poke and some bubble tea. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the little treats you can gift yourself in life, and since Tuesdays are really busy, I didn't have time to meal prep this day, so I was like, okay, I gotta eat lunch, might as well treat myself. This place opened up relatively recently near campus, and it's actually the ideal study spot because there's plenty of outlets, there's huge tables, and I definitely felt motivated to do work afterwards. And when I got down to my final assignment, which was to watch a musical. So I decided to play another Code Recollection while listening to it in the background. I'm a pretty good multitasker, so I played in tabletop mode and I was getting to a really juicy part of the gameplay. I don't consider myself an introvert, but one of my favorite homebody activities is to just do something with my hands while listening to music. If you know, you know. You know the Spotify Pinterest combo? Oh, I love making playlists and then listening to them as I go through Pinterest for inspiration, for YouTube videos or outfits. And I love sitting on my laptop to make my playlists. I think that is the ultimate playlist making experience. I have monthly playlists, so we're currently in February. I'm gonna just hit play. And if you have any song recs, please let me know. I have my Hobonichi Teko here, but I haven't used this in the last two, three weeks. I am trying to let go of the guilt of not being consistent with things because life is very inconsistent. So I'm not gonna blame myself, but something that I decided on this year, go back and scrapbook during the weeks that I didn't use it for planning or productivity. And this is great because I can coordinate photos and memories with the week it happened in while using up all the random stuff that I hoard and collect like receipts, ticket stubs. It's pretty late at night now. I mean, not late, but late for me because I like going to bed early, like 10, 11, if possible. That hasn't been happening recently, but we're gonna change that tonight, hopefully. It's currently 7.30 and I have a dance practice at night. So I'm going to pack my bag and take y'all to campus with me. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I really wanna dive back into my hobbies. One of those hobbies that I've literally never told anyone about is dancing. I started dancing when I got to college. I don't remember exactly the reason, but there was a performance 
Challenge Showcase and our Vietnamese Student Association wanted to do a hat dance. So that's the first time I literally had ever danced in my life. Since then, I've been dancing more. I participate in other cultural showcases. And this year, I'm helping choreograph one of the main dances. And then I'm leading on another dance for the seniors. So we have our dance practices on the weekends at night. And even though it's something I'm doing for a club, been one of my favorite outlets because you get your cardio in, you get your blood pumping, and it's fun to venture out and try new things. And this is your sign that because I, as a very uncoordinated person, or was uncoordinated person, can learn how to dance, so can you. So I'm packing my big old bag. I have my phone and portable charger, my water bottle. I have a speaker, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be loud enough. Hopefully it is. And for my other dance, I'm using traditional fans. Ta -da, ta -da. I also have a little hair clip on my belt loop and my headphones for the commute. And here's the fit. Ta -da. I'll see y'all soon at the dance studio. Hello everyone, we are back home. I just took a shower, dance practice went great. All the seniors did so well. I'm honestly just so happy that everyone's patient with me. And now it's pretty late, but I thought I'd do some of the stereotypical self-care things to end the night. I have these very expensive eye patches that you can put under just for funsies. I never use them because <laughs> they're expensive and I just don't want to waste them. I don't use these enough and I need to treat wow. myself to Day. I'm gonna go to bed soon, but I'm gonna chill on the couch, maybe put a show on and play more of another code. So, yeah.